Hello everyone, I will present a, a computational framework of the visual sensor sensory system based based on the on neuroscientific evidence of the ventral pathway. Uh, my name is Luis Parra and we make this work also with Daniel Madrigal and my advisor Felix Ramos um, from Simvestar Guadalajara. So uh, what this work is consisting, uh, it consists in uh, we propose a, computa a computational architecture for visual processing uh, with low and medium level features, integrating the following, the following aspect of vision that are the transduction, the processing of color, shape, and the early stage of the motion processing. So this is the outline. So we will start with the in introduction. So we know that through vision, uh, human beings can process uh, light stimuli to create an, inter an internal representation uh, of our world to create uh, an internal representation of the environment in our mind. Um, for example, this image we can see. Uh, so in the brain, um, the the, the visual processing is carried uh, through, the, through these areas that are retina, lateral geniculate nucleus, and the, and, the, and the visual areas. It's important to, it's important to say that uh, we are not making object uh, recognition. We are making visual uh, processing system that is like analogous to the feature extraction in uh, artificial intelligence and in computer. So uh, generally this processing is divided in two ways that are the ventral pathway that has uh, areas with neurons specializes specialized in the high details of the object, and the ventral pathway is in charge of the object uh, recognition, and the dorsal pathway has neurons that are uh, less sensitive to the uh, details of the object, but has neurons more sensitive sensitive to the motion to the motion. And um, in the dorsal pathway, we achieve the object low object location and motion. So uh, the, the processing performed by the brain, the, by the brain, uh, by the visual areas is hierarchical where low level features are assembled into feature of higher complexity. For example, we see that in, in the area V1, uh, we start like uh, with the selectivity of the oriented edge. So in B2, uh, more uh, complex features are are processed, and finally in B4, uh, we have uh, the selectivity of uh, very simple shapes. And then the 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 hierarchy is coming uh, is advancing. Um, for example, in area IT. Uh, we see like some selectivity to more complex stimuli and phases and I don't know what more. And the visual sensor is important because it provides valuable information to other cognitive areas and systems to perform the high level visual processing functions. Uh, we can see also the, or we can say that also the difference between the, sensory system and high level uh, visual processing or perception is like, uh, here we make more and more uh, unconscious processing and perception is more conscious. And okay, the visual sy system is providing information mainly to attention, perception, and memory. So in the problem, definition, the understanding of how the human visual system is working is a still open problem in neuroscience and in computer science. Uh, there is no unifying theory of how the brain performs, performs visual processing, uh, visual sensor produce processing, and the development of a computational architecture that integrates multiple aspects of vision 
is still a major challenge. And speaking more about, about computer models, uh, some computer visual models are limited to certain type of tasks. They are very good and very efficient in some, uh, some specific tasks. But to create a general vision model is still a, a, an, an open problem here in neuroscience and computer. And in the case of video inspired vision models, they have a specific scope or they cover uh, the explanation of a very specific vision phenomena. And another thing is uh, some models are not. Uh, considering the interaction with more cognitive functions. And we need to make important that this model also is part of the cognitive architecture that we are developing in, in here in Simbestar, Guadalajara. So our approach is through the study of neural scientific evidence about the brain areas, their function and communication is possible to design a computational framework of the visual processing system. Um, and this will make possible to provide an intelligent agent with the information similar to how the, how the human being processed uh, this information and come closer to, to obtain human uh, behavior, obviously also with the integration with other uh, more uh, cognitive functions inside a cognitive architecture. So starting with the design of the model, um, the design of the model, the approach that uh, we are using more is uh, using uh, linear and non-linear non filters to create uh, feature maps feature maps and maintaining the information trans, uh, in a modular and transparent uh, way. So first, based on neuroscientific, neuroscientific evidence, uh, we designed the, uh, this flow, this diagram, uh, this, uh, this conceptual model where, where we see the components that correspond to the visual areas and the subcomponents correspond to, to, the, to, to the type of cells, like uh, type of neurons in that areas. And then we have the execution diagram with the functions. And speaking about the aspect of vision that covers this uh, model, uh, we see the parts that correspond to the transduction, the color processing, the shape processing and the early stage of the motion processing. So speaking about the color processing, uh, we, start, we start with the RGB image uh, and then um, we transform the RGB image, the R RGB pictures in a LMS space that correspond to the activation of the of the cones like low, medium, and, and short frequencies. Um, and then in the lateral unique nucleus, uh, the single opponent of operations are performed to convert to DKL space. And then uh, another opponent process, in this case in B1, the double O opponent process is performed um, and we see is uh, we use more uh, different options here. And finally, in before uh, we obtain a map of the color regions that are categorized. Uh, categorized. And this processing of color is also important because if we integrate with models like uh, attention, we can have a more functions, more and more filters, because for attention is very important to obtain uh, this color scheme uh, more close to the neuroscience instead of a normal RGB picture. And now speaking of the shape processing, we start with the with the obtention of the oriented edge maps. So 
We make convolutions with with ga with Gabor filters on the input for producing uh, the orientation maps. Uh, we use uh, two phases of uh, of the filter, like symmetric and disymmetric, in order to, in the complex cells, obtain the spatial invariant of edge uh, using the energy zoom model, like energy. Uh, yes, we assume the the inputs and then we obtain the invariance and then in the hypercomplex cells of we of, of we one we obtain the selectivity of the edge with a certain length and with uh, for obtaining that uh, we use n stop filters where uh, the edge uh, ter terminate terminations are filtered and this is useful for obtaining uh, more uh, important or more relevant information in the picture and also helps to obtain the fit the figure ground uh, segmentation in the future and now speaking about the selectivity to specific angles in b2 uh, we use the orientation maps to obtain the corner with a specific angles the, all the angles the the operation is very similar to the multiplication to the multiplication and then for obtaining the angular rotation invariance uh, the maps of angles of the same aperture but different directions are merged also if before we obtain the selectivity to specific cur curvatures where uh, we group uh, curvature stimuli with uh, a certain radius and directions are filtered out. This is very similar to the corner detections, but here uh, we can obtain a wide range, uh, a wide range of uh, activations. And for also obtaining the rotation invariance, uh, the stimuli of the same radius and different directions are joined together. And then for obtaining the simple shape, uh, selectivity, we use the corner and the curvature information for the simple shape selectivity where we convey these, uh, these uh, maps, these maps. And also uh, there is an operation very similar to the multiplication where we obtain uh, the, the activations when uh, these, these patterns are matching. And also we obtain the scale invariance where we have different uh, simple shape maps of different signs, uh, size and they are joined together. And we and then we obtain the shape uh, this the segmentation where uh, a segmentation of the latex simple shape is is carried out where we use the shape that for obtaining uh, the before uh, for obtaining the simple shape now we will uh, make a segmentation of the of the or, of the original picture of maybe from from the retina or we can use for example the v1 maps or something like that for make the segmentation of the shape and also for our chip uh, the segmentation with scale invariance is the same but we use the we use different size of shapes. And now speaking of the first stage of motion processing, we use the information from the from the oriented edge from the complex cells of, of big one to make a, a buffer of, of maps. So we obtain the we ob, we obtain a map uh, where a map of oriented edge that are moving in a perpendicular direction and this will be uh, the input for more complex uh, more complex processing for example in the area mt and mct that are detecting more complex motion and also we are considering uh, feedback mechanisms inside the system so the system can receive a modulation input from our, an external system 
and how it, it will work. An external system like attention or perception can uh, send uh, a map also, a, mo a map um, a modulation matrix. And this signal will be propagated to the successor maps and in some and in some proportion to the to, to the previous maps. So every map of the the maps of our system are are capable to propagate a signal to the to the previous map. So in the future we also can have effects of the context modulation, for example, from the area of perception or from the from perception. So watching some experiments and the implementation, the implementation was done using the research group group framework uh, presented in the previous presentation, uh, was pro programmed in Java using uh, OpenCV library. Um, yes, or, or, or Windows is uh, intuitive is like very easy to use. Uh, the main data structure of the maps or matrix was designed as a node of graphs to support feedback uh, feedback connections like we have or the previous and the next nodes. And we can see the results. We see the the transformation of the color of the color processing. And now speaking of the shape processing, we see how the orientation maps are generated. Um, we see the simple complex cells and the hypercomplex. And the importance of the hypercomplex cells here is uh, we can see uh, a lot of noise are filtered. And for example, in the tree, we only can see uh, more the, the, the determination the real contour of the tree and it's very important for the figure ground segmentation and also we can see the the corner cell activity is is, is better to see in the simple uh, shape uh, in the fields and it's very important for detecting like corners that provide better provide more relevant information uh, comparing to the to the only age and also we can see the selectivity to the to the curvature so uh, we have these stimuli that are circles and we see like very interesting results here uh, so depending of the radius these circles are are filters these circles are filters uh, also like very uh, clear result was made to the simple shape selectivity. Uh, the study case here, here is very simple, but we can see very clearly the activations that uh, are corresponding in the center of the shape. Also, we can see the edge, edge motion in, in V1 uh, are it's a, it's a very simple case. We need to make more complex case about uh, this uh, motion processing. And in conclusion, making a little bit of this question and what we need more, uh, we need to make more research uh, about link various as aspects of vision. We talk about that discover some aspect of vision, but for example, uh, there is no binding of color and shape and shape processing. You can see like the the color processing goes in one in one way and it looks like very isolated. And also we need to bind them, for example, more functions between the dorsal and the ventral pathway. Uh, also obtaining intermediate features such so a corner and curvature needs for further research in this proposal. Uh, more advanced motion processing needs to be considered as well the stereoscopy. The stereoscopy. Uh, the effect of feedback loops needs further the development and also uh, exemplify in a case study what is the 
effect of the feedback, feedback. Um, also the training for the shape patch, patch in before is considered is considered in the future because when the information advance uh, the for the combination of patch becomes uh, exponential so many more many models like for example hmax or convolutional neural networks they use like training for make uh, these patches in the high areas so is considered uh, of course a compar compar comparison with neuroscience models should be considered because the uh, study case here was only like showing the, the results in the matrix but we need to compare more with uh, with neuroscience and in the conclusion this work present an, in an initial proposal for a computational architecture for visual processing that covers various as aspects of vision uh, is able to process early and middle visual representations uh, with all the need for training. Uh, considers integrations with other functions in a cognitive architecture. Uh, it maintains a, a modular and transparent approach so external functions can access to that information. And the integrations with other cognitive systems will allow the, the creation of more complex uh, study cases. Um, so that was all. Um, thank you for your attention. Uh, a question? Okay. <laughs> Uh, it, it was a uh, very nice work, and uh, <clears throat> I was wondering, uh, considering the effort that you have put already in the in the development, how much effort do you think it will be necessary to include uh, stereoscopy and three D processing in the, in the system that you are uh, doing right now? Do you think it's something like double the, the the work that you already have done or the triple or 10 times how, how, how do you evaluate the, the the amount of work that will be necessary to have a 3d modeling instead of just a 2d modeling just like you have right now um in fact uh we are uh, right now developing uh this model uh this framework for 3d uh i mean for is stereoscopy is not too much con uh, only uh, is not too much considering uh, the compatibility for example they are also uh, for stereoscopy they are uh, the energy models that are also using uh, information from the edge so the models are very similar however uh the stereoscopy has the problem of the correspondence problem of the correspondent problem so we need to use a lot of units uh, a lot of uh, spatial frequencies for re for reducing the noise so we are implementing that in the early stage in u1 however it's slow because we use a lot of spatial frequencies for the noise. So if the models of stereoscopy are, are compatible, uh, is is not a big work. Uh, the big work is more about the connections and optimize the model to be faster. Maybe uh, in, in, in how how far you think it is to making a connection from what you're doing and the Work that uh, Karina has uh, presented in the other presentation, putting these things, uh, transforming that into episode uh, uh, information that could be uh, uh, stored in episodic memory, for example. This also depends on the perception system because my system is uh, is uh, giving uh, information to the perception system, but I am not doing. Uh, the high level visual processing uh, in the last year this was also integrated with the with the perception system but yes depends 
this this depends of this system and the integration with the perception system in order to feel having the having the necessary features and then having the recognition of the stimulus so sounds like it's not too far but it's also far at the same time so it's a very tricky question <laughs> Another question? Okay, no, no more question. Thank you, Lucy.